Are you sure you're a Grandmaster? Interesting. Hung Lao! Over here! Madame Bo. She's out cold. Oh no, is she... Dead? Not yet. Madame Bo, how are you... Kung Lao. So, Madame Bo, are they ready? A bit thick in the head, perhaps. But they are ready. His eyes are glowing. I am Lord Liu Kang, God of Fire, and Protector of Earthrealm. God? Earthrealm? Madame Bo has been preparing you for this moment since you were boys. Today, you have proven worthy of joining my champions. This fight was... a test? Of your ability and character, yes. Bi Han, Kuai Liang. So these two aren't thugs? The Lin Kuei is a centuries-old clan dedicated to Earthrealm's defense. You keep saying Earthrealm. Don't you mean Earth? You boys have so much to learn. Earth is only a part of Earthrealm. Earthrealm itself is one of many realms. Together, they comprise the whole of the universe. The realms can be fierce, bitter rivals. That's why we need champions to defend ours. The time draws near for the Grand Martial Arts Tournament between Earthrealm and the Realm of Outworld. Held once each century, it allows each realm to demonstrate its strength. While our realms are at peace, there are Outworlders who would prefer us to be at war. Our victory in the tournament will temper their zeal. I've taught you everything I can. You must finish your training with Lord Liu Kang. More training? These two couldn't defeat us. <laughs> <laughs> what? They were pulling their punches. Had we not held back, you would not have survived. Come. The monks at the Wuxi Academy await to continue your tutelage. I am ready, Lord Liu Kang. And you, Raiden? Leave Feng Xian? I'm needed here. Earthrealm needs you, Raiden. You'll best serve the village by being one of its champions. I understand. Excellent. I will join you soon. First, there are other champions I must gather. And that's Malibu's finest. It's a great story. Bullshit. <laughs> but great. You should seriously consider becoming a screenwriter. What in the actual fu- Good evening, Johnny Cage. I am Liu Kang. Protector of Earthrealm. May we enter? Uh, nothing's being shot here tonight. Uh, you sure you're in the right place? Yes. We come on a matter of grave importance. We must speak to you and your guest. What? How do you know about him? Because I am the God of Fire. Chris, you vixen. Nicely done. Sure. I, I come right in. Glowing eyes are a nice touch. Kenshi Takahashi. A tragic figure with a noble cause. Your actions this evening do you no credit. Who are these people? You tell me. They're your scene partners. I also know of your struggles, Johnny Cage. I am here to offer you both a path forward. Dun, dun, dun. 
<laughs> oh, come on, guys, let's call this. Chris was a doll to set this up, but as pranks go, this one's a bit obvious. This is no prank. Bihar, Kui Liang, if you please. All right, all right. <laughs> I'll play my part in this uh, martial arts LARP. The missus ought to get what you paid for. Ah. <laughs> okay. Uh. Hey, you. Uh, wait, wait. Hey, you. Get your damn hands off him. I said, get your hands off him. <laughs> 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 Was that necessary, brother? To put him in his place. That was a Hichuli. One of a kind. All right, I don't care if this is a damn prank. You cross the line. Fight. And scene. I hope you're insured, because you're paying for my Hichuli. Imbecile. You have no idea with whom you're dealing. Enough! Ah... Uh, that's no special effect. Indeed, Johnny Cage. Kui Liang. Okay, let's go back to one here. Who are you again? Lord Liu Kang, protector of Earthrealm. God of fire. Well, that last one tracks. But what's an Earth realm? All will be explained, Johnny Cage. For now, what is important is that you both have been chosen to join its champions. Why him? Or me, for that matter. Because I have faith that you will rise to the challenge. And because your service will change the arcs of your lives. Damn time. And today, one of you will be chosen to fight for it at the tournament. Only one of us, Lord Liu Kang? Isn't Outworld fielding several champions? The tournament's rules give the host realm that advantage, and it is Outworld's turn as host. You know, I don't know why I've never asked this, but uh, <laughs> what's our record at this tournament? Earth Realm and Outworld have long been evenly matched. But Outworld is gaining strength. Should it win, its more militant factions will be emboldened. I thought you admired Outworld. It is a place of great knowledge, wealth, and beauty. But our realms do not share goals and beliefs. We coexist peacefully, because Outworld respects our strength. Should we show weakness, our rival will become our enemy. I will not lose, Lord Liu Kang. First, you must win the right to represent us. Whichever one of you outlasts the others will be chosen. Raiden, step forward. <laughs> Good call. Call the weak first. You shall face him, Johnny Cage. Ready for your close-up? All right, let's do this. But remember, farm boy, I'm a global martial arts icon. I don't think you can handle this much boom. I am ready, Johnny Cage. My mind and spirit fight as one. <laughs> this fight was an honor. You're welcome. Kenshi Takahashi, you are next. You have skills, Raiden, but you're inexperienced. Whatever experience I lack, I make up for in heart. It's nerve, not heart, that wins fights. I should know. I've been in hundreds of them. Do you still question my nerve? I do not. Yours was a well-earned victory. 
You may rest, Raiden. This evening, you will face your final opponent. Fifty bucks says Kung Lao wins. Make it interesting. Bet me Sento. <laughs> Not on your life. Raiden, Kung Lao. The winner of this match will represent Earthrealm against Outworld. It is a grave duty, not to be undertaken lightly. You may step back now and suffer no dishonor. I choose to fight, Lord Liu Kang. As do I. Then may the best person win. Concede, Raiden. You have never beaten me. That won't change today. No. If the monks have taught us one thing, it's that the only constant in the universe is change. Fight! There is a first time for everything, Kung Lao. Although you have all trained well, Raiden has excelled. This outcome does not surprise me. How could I have... Congratulations, Raiden. For the tournament, you will need this. Forged by the Elder Gods, it gives the wearer power over lightning and thunder. Go ahead. Try it. Necessary? In addition to possessing great might, the Outworlders you will face also wield great magic. The amulet levels the playing field. You must be careful, Raiden. You could get hurt, even killed. No tournament participant has ever been grievously injured or killed. <laughs> I would never send my champions unwittingly into mortal combat. We leave in seven days for Outworld's capital, Sundo. The tournament will be held at the palace of Empress Sindel. Outworld can be both alien and intoxicating to Earthrealmers. Do not become drawn in. You must focus on the task at hand. Sindel's daughters, yes. They do not disappoint. We are Earthrealm's ambassadors, Johnny. We'll show them respect, not unwanted attention. Lord Liu Kang, welcome. Thank you, Princess Melina. You remember my sister? Of course, Princess Kitana. May I introduce Johnny Cage, Kung Lao, Kenshi Takahashi, and Earthrealm's champion, Raiden. I hope you're prepared, Raiden. Our champions are determined to win. None more so than me. It's been too long since we've known victory. Princess Melina, 
We should be on our way. Empress Sindel awaits. Thank you, Tanya. Follow me, please. beings are not Nadas. The monks described them, but seeing them in person? I see that Her Majesty once again spares no expense on the festival. Should she not? It commemorates my late father. I admire, Princess. I do not judge. As did all of Outworld, I valued greatly Jared's fellowship. was to be clear. This couldn't wait. Should I allow Tarkatans to infect the city, your highness? Those arrested were harboring some here, rather than report them for quarantine. The Earth Realmers cannot be privy to our secrets, Li Mei. As Sundo's first constable, you must show better judgment. Perhaps that's too much to expect. Princess Melina doesn't seem to like her very much. Li Mei used to lead the Umgadi, the palace guard. It was on her watch that the princess's father was murdered. <laughs> Worry expends energy for no purpose, Rin. But the tournament, if I lose... Focus on your actions, not the outcome. It is all you can control. Alert. Incoming stock villain. General Shaw. Do not let him go to you. <laughs> is it me? Or is Earth Realm's champion scrawnier than usual? Would you care to test his strength? Raiden will will prove himself soon enough. Have you still not told most Earth Realmers that Outworld exists? It is safer that way, General. I suppose so. Your people's frail minds couldn't handle the truth. You presume them frail, General. Should you, given how frequently they win this tournament? We will destroy your champion, Liu Kang. He will taste no victory. Members of the Royal House, welcome, our esteemed Earthrealm guests. We gather once again to honor my late husband's legacy, to continue the tournament that he founded with Lord Liu Kang in hopes that it would foster peace among realms. May Jared's soul watch over us with pride from its resting place in the living forest. Lord Liu Kang, Empress Sindel, it pleases me to once again be your guest. Here, you are always welcome. Now, let us meet your champion. Earthrealm's champion is Raiden, your majesty. He has earned his place, 
by embodying the very best qualities of Earthrealm's people. You seem nervous, young man. I'm a stranger in an unfamiliar land, here to compete against its greatest fighters. Yes, I am nervous. As you should be, you have a difficult path ahead. It has begun. As tradition requires, Outworld's initial competitor will be Sundo's first constable, Li Mei. May she defend our realm's glory, as well as she preserves our capital's order. Your Majesty, I will honor both the Royal House and all of Outworld with my combat. If so, you will vastly exceed my expectations. Remember, were it not for Jared's tradition, you would not be here. All you need do is your best. The rest will take care of itself. Yes, Lord Liu Kang. Shall we see what you can do? Hopefully, this will be the first of many victories. I will prevail, Earthrealmer. This fight is more important to me than you can... I am ready for my next opponent, Your Majesty. Whom shall I face? Patience, young man. We are adjourned until first light. I hope to see you all at this evening's banquet. years old? Oh, talk about aging gracefully. What do you see in him? He is a hero, Raven. Though he may not yet know it. Do you recognize everyone here? Most, yes. From your descriptions. Except for him. That is Rain, the High Mage of Outworld. Not his given name but one earned due to his mastery of water magic. Are you unwell, princess? Uh, I am fine, Tanya. I know I'm to fight Melina, but will I also face Tanya? By tradition, you should not. If you did, you would be tested. Why? Umgadi, like Tanya, are warrior priestesses, selected from the firstborn daughters of Outworld. From infancy, they are trained to defend the royal family. Outworld must see much conflict if the Empress needs such protection. Its past has been difficult, though the last thousand years of Empress Sindel's reign have been a true golden age. The memories of that strife still linger. Continue to surprise Raiden. Among others, you have defeated Kotal, Motaro, and Shiva. Only two fights remain. Are you ready, Earthrealmer? I am, Your Majesty. Then next, you face my daughter, Katana. Your Majesty, this is unprecedented. Raiden's next opponent should be your heir. Melina is unavailable. She's away on pressing Imperial business. But I have not prepared him to battle Katana. He's already demonstrated great skill. Can he not improvise? Do not worry. I can do this. Very well. I will be no easier to fight than my sister, Earthrealmer. I suffer under no such delusion, Your Highness. I will win this fight. For her, my Empress, and all of Outworld. Fight! May I assist you? 
Stay away, Earth Realmer. Well done. You have exceeded my greatest expectations. Thank you, Lord Liu Kang. Because of you, the Outworlders who would disturb the peace will once again be held at bay. Come. Let us bid our hosts farewell and return to Earthrealm. Good to see you. Likewise, Lord Liu Kang. I have watched you with the Hourglass. You are relishing your role as Earthrealm's protector. It suits me far better than being Keeper of Time ever did. I never wanted to replace Kronika. Being history's architect drove her mad. I had no wish to share her fate. Which is why I am forever grateful that you volunteered to safeguard the Hourglass. Despite my having relinquished its power, the new era has unfolded as it should. You created me in your own image. Duty is my highest calling. While I am glad you are here, you are not one for social calls. Is there trouble with the Hourglass? With something it has shown me. What, Geras? When you restarted history, you altered the destinies of certain malefactors to neutralize them. At least one of them is defying that destiny. Shang Tsung. Go on. He has escaped his meaningless life and is on his way to becoming a powerful sorcerer. He has already infiltrated Sindel's court. I saw no sign of him during the tournament. But if that snake is in Sindel's ear... Your vision of peace may already be compromised. I appreciate this warning, Giris. I will investigate. Please return to the Hourglass and see what else you can learn. So we find him in Outworld and bring him here for questioning? Yes. If what I fear has happened, he is a grave threat to the realms. Anything else? Shang Tsung is a master of deceit. Do not trust a word he utters. Sounds a lot like my first agents. It's a tricky mission. I'd rather Raiden go along than this one. Hey! This one is up for the job. This mission must be done quietly. I am breaking my word with Empress Sindel by sending you into Outworld without her knowledge. Due to the tournament, Raiden is now a familiar face there. Sending him will only increase your risk of being discovered. This talisman is attuned to Shang Tsung's Qi. Follow it to him. And be careful. May the Elder Gods protect you. You won't silence me, General. We must go. Now! Boom! Johnny, Kenshi, Kung Lao, you have safely returned. By the Elder Gods. Yeah, we had a run-in with Princess Melina's inner demons. She took my sight, but Sento, in its own way, restored it. I am glad that Sento bonded with you. Though my hope was that the means would be different this time. This time? Forgive me, Kenshi. I misspoke. 
The monks will tend to your wounds. We found Shang Tsung, but he got away. I can see why you're twitchy about him. He's neck deep in some serious shit. Rest, eat, then we will discuss. Can I also get a martini? Shaken, not stirred? Ah, I'm sorry. Meet the newest members of the Earthrealm players. We wouldn't have made it back without them. Astra and Sizos. You know us? As Earthrealm's protector, there is much I know. Do you also know of my former master, Quan Chi? He colludes with Shang Tsung. A new deadly alliance? Come, all of you. You must tell me all you know. Well, so much for that martini. Shang Tsung and Quan Chi again conspire against Earthrealm? What Johnny and Kenshi report should not be possible. You witnessed how I rewrote history. I gave the sorcerers meaningless lives. They should have never gained power, let alone joined forces. And your work was flawless. Such would their lives have been, had someone not interfered. Interfered? What do you mean? Both sorcerers were visited by this person. It is her intervention that bent the arcs of their lives. Who is she? Unknown. Her identity has been obscured from the hourglass. Who could have that power? Is it Kronika? Somehow resurrected? Impossible. Titans, once destroyed, cannot be revived. Then someone else must have survived the previous timeline. Someone with a vendetta against me. It is the only plausible theory. You must determine its validity, Gears. The fate of the realms may depend on it. Lord Liu Kang can see you now. It is about time. Shang Tsung is here, at the ruins of Ying Fortress. His soul stealers are already under construction. You must destroy them, and capture Shang Tsung before either can inflict harm upon Earthrealm. We will leave immediately. And we will join you. You are not Lin Kuei. You would only hinder the effort. Raiden and I are more than- We're trained differently. It takes years to master our ways. You and Raiden have my full confidence, but you are needed elsewhere. Go to the Wuxi. The monks must prepare you for war. How did you achieve this, sorcerer? You arrived not a moment too soon, Gears. What have you learned? In scrutinizing Shang Tsung's first meeting with his benefactor, I made an important discovery. Her life essence, the very time crystals that make up her being, are not of this timeline. Not of this timeline? How could someone from a previous timeline enter this one? That cannot happen. If that cannot happen, then what has happened, Gears? There are no other timelines than those that have come before. All evidence points to the presence of a second timeline, which exists concurrently with ours. Two timelines, side by side, moving forward simultaneously? Never in a billion lifetimes have I seen this. But that does not make the other timeline any less real. There can be no doubt that Shang Tsung's benefactor hails from it. Hmm. And who she is, why she's here, where she's from. All questions we need answered, which we can't while we are under attack. 
I will go to Sindel. Convince her to withdraw from Earthrealm by showing her how history is being manipulated. That will require revealing to her your prior role as Keeper of Time. The situation gives me no choice. I will need your help, Gears, to prove my claims to the Empress. Return home, Lord Liu Kang. I am to let no one pass. I must see Her Majesty. She must call off her attack on Earthrealm. Her decision was unwise, but she no longer seeks my counsel, and I doubt she's interested in yours. The Empress has been deceived. Shang Tsung and General Shao have fomented this crisis as a means to steal her throne. General Shao? I knew he was hiding his true intentions. But join Shang Tsung? Ugh. I knew he couldn't be trusted. Were I still Umgadi, he would never have breathed the same air as the Empress. My palace sources told me he arrived out of nowhere and immediately had the Empress's ear. He gained her trust by treating Princess Melina's condition. Tragically, she is afflicted with Tarkat disease. Tarkat? The Empress must be beside herself. If Shang Tsung found a treatment, no wonder she embraced him. I have shared this with no one. I trust that you, of all people, will keep this secret. Of course. Were it made public, it would bring down the royal family. Li Mei, Empress Sindel needs our help. Will you join me? Emperor Jared's death. The pain it caused Emperor Sindel has always haunted me. I failed the royal family once. I won't do so again. Everything now makes sense. My Umgadi contacts had said the general soldiers had been encroaching. But still, I can't fathom it. General Shao committing treason? It is the fruit of a poisonous seed planted by Shang Tsung. He played to the general's vanity, inflamed his prejudices to convince him that he alone could save our world. He may be unstoppable. The Umgadi don't have numbers, and my constables aren't trained for war. Know that I, too, will aid in the Empress's defense. Driver, what is it? I may need that aid right now. Return Liu Kang to the portal gate, Li Mei. He isn't welcome in Outworld. I won't support the General, Reiko nor his plot to usurp the throne. Then you won't live to see the new regime. They have us surrounded. I am Earthrealm's protector, Li Mei. I am no stranger to combat. Then let's get out there. We must leave. Reinforcements will be on the way. Word of his arrival precedes you. Surrender if you wish to remain unharmed. Let us pass, Tanya. The Empress and her family are in danger. He brings word that Shang Tsung and General Shao plot against them. 
The General? Are you so easily taken in by lies? Once again, you prove incapable of protecting the Royal House. Fuck. I'm sorry you made that necessary. Priestesses. You know who I am. Of my deeds when I was one of you. I may no longer be welcome. But in my heart, I am still Umgadi. I will always honor my vows. He's here to end a threat to the Empress. Stand against us, and she will lose the throne. Stand with us, and we will save the Empire. Why didn't you kill me? Because we mean you no harm. And that you live will help prove that fact to the Empress. How dare you, Li Mei? It's not enough that you let Jared be murdered. You let Liu Kang destroy the rest of my family? My heart broke when your husband died. I lost not only my Emperor, but you, my closest friend. I know you may never forgive me. But don't be blinded by anger and grief. We are here to help you. <laughs> No, daughter. Your condition. I am glad she is safe, and that our conflict has ended. It is paused, not ended. Li Mei has earned my goodwill. Whether you do remains to be seen. I seek only peace, your majesty. Is that why you send minions on secret missions into my empire? You've proved yourself the enemy I was long warned you would be. I understand your anger, but I had reason to believe that Shang Tsung posed a threat to both of us. Until I confirmed them, I did not want to burden you with my suspicions. And now? They have proven true. Shang Tsung, Quan Chi, the General. They conspire to conquer our realms. A serious charge. Where is your proof? At Shang Tsung's laboratory. If what you see there does not convince you, I will surrender Earthrealm without a fight. Shang Tsung to indulge in such depravity? For General Shao to condone it? They are not the men I thought them. Despite my best efforts, neither man nor Quan Chi are who they were meant to be. They're not your responsibility. They're outworlders. But it is I who crafted their destinies, along with those of all other beings, at the dawn of history. You created the realms. I is your mind addled, demigod? I am a mere demigod now. But eons ago, I was more powerful than all of the Elder Gods combined. I was a titan and the Keeper of Time. This is Geras. Your Majesty. Your Highnesses. Geras is the Guardian of the Hourglass. A celestial object which lies beyond the realms. The Hourglass regulates time and destiny. When I wielded its power, it was upon me to craft all of existence. Which I did when I restarted history. Restarted? This timeline was preceded by billions more. Though this is the first of Liu Kang's design. The others were designed by his predecessor. Kronika was obsessed with equalizing good and evil. When a timeline veered too far to one or the other, 
she would halt it and restart history, tinkering with lives and events in the hope of achieving her golden balance. Prior timelines, Kronika gave Shang Tsung and Quan Chi mastery of the most vile magics. Shao was not a general, the tyrannical ruler bent on conquest. Yusidel were his ruthless wife, who would do anything to preserve your privilege. When I took the hourglass from Kronika, I vowed to do better. So in this timeline, the sorcerers would not gain their dark powers. Shao would be your loyal follower, and you would rule Outworld firmly but fairly. But someone has interfered with Liu Kang's design. Shao, Shang Tsung, Guan Chi, all have been groomed by an unknown entity to be the villains they were in previous timelines. Where to begin? Am I to kneel to my creator? Do you expect worship? No, your majesty. My prior role was thrust upon me by circumstance. I am in no way divine. You had power over all of creation, yet you gave it up. Because I saw how it drove Kronika mad. I knew I would fare no better had I kept it. dare you conspire against Outworld? Not against Outworld, but against your misguided rule. Your deference to him leaves us all vassals. So you sanction these unspeakable horrors? Lie to me about the threats we face? Thanks to you, Earthrealm blood is already on my hands. Bloodshed, without cause or provocation. Don't move. Empress, everyone, stay back. What is it? The Amulet of Shinnok, a weapon of terrifying power. It should not exist. Its maker is powerless, as Liu Kang designed. Yet more proof of foreign interference. Enough, Brattle. You both bend a knee to Outworld's new emperor. Put down the amulet. Its evil is beyond your control. <laughs> do you think I do battle not trained with my weapon? I am more than prepared. <laughs> So General Shao casts his lot with Outworld's enemies against me. He's a fool to ally with you blood-sucking fiends. Fight! Tanya and your daughters. They are not dead, but trapped in the amulet. We can still save them. General. The amulet, your majesty. I hate to disrupt, but we must act quickly to save Earthrealm. Is that the command of my creator? No, your majesty. It is the request of a friend. Those are the General's most loyal lieutenants. 
They must be neutralized if we are to shut down the Soul Stealers. Yes, they do. We should split up. Once again find ourselves in challenging circumstances. And once again, we will prevail. As always, Sindel, I am yours to command. Thanks to the princess, this fight is ended. The fight, perhaps. Not the battle. True. Until your benefactor is caught, the realms remain threatened. Who is she, sorcerer? <laughs> Speak of the devil. Liu Kang. Meet Damashi. Damashi? You are the victim of deception, sorcerer. You're not Damashi. You're me. More correctly, you are me. A poor facsimile, anyway. Made lesser by Liu Kang's meddling. What's happening here? Who is he? This Chang Song is whom I battled for the Hourglass. I thought him dead. As I did you, Liu Kang. It turns out our battle released mammoth energies which ripped apart time's fabric. The fight had two conclusions. In one, I was the victor. In the other, it was you. It was eons before I discovered this. Once I did, I knew the path forward. I took this form and infiltrated your timeline. I elevated these wretches, giving them great power. Together, they sowed discord among the realms and assembled for me the Dragon Army. I led them to believe they were aiding my conquest of Earthrealm and Outworld. But my intent is to exterminate all life in this timeline, and then merge it into my own. You promised us realms. Now you leave us to slaughter? You were pawns, not partners. Your purpose served. You will be sacrificed. We served you loyally, built you the Dragon Crown. This... this is a toy. I do not need it to control the Dragon Army. Only the souls contained in. Neither you nor your timeline will be missed. It appears our interests align. For now. Know that I trust neither of you. I will finish you both at the first hint of treachery. Wrong. Uh, uh, serum wearing off. 
Resistance serves no purpose. This timeline will be destroyed. Fight! You are now Empress. Rule well. I will, Mother. Father and Katana will help me. collected your mother's soul. It resides within me. She is safe. Hurry, everyone. We must withdraw. that large among realms he'll need a portal yes more than one you will need a nexus of portal gateways it must be nearby we follow them they will lead us to it agreed but we cannot strike until Raiden and Kung Lao arrive that the Lin Kuei won't aid us is unforgivable Bihan has corrupted them totally when this crisis ends we will deal with that one this is but the opening battle in a longer war. Titan Shang Tsung has prepared his entire timeline for it. We cannot match its strength. My counterpart said that your battle with him ripped time's fabric, creating two timelines. But how do we know that it wasn't torn further? If there are two timelines, can't there be more? Why the thought experiment, sorcerer? You said we lack strength. We might find it in other timelines. How would we do that? We gather allies from across timelines. Other Titans to build an overwhelming force. If they exist. We have no proof that they do. We must fight the battle in front of us. We can't stake our survival on pure conjecture. If Liu Kang is right, the battle in front of us is already lost. This may be our only hope. Giris, your thoughts? It is possible. But as I am only the Hourglass's steward, such a search is beyond me. It can only be undertaken by the Keeper of Time. And I no longer wield that power. You may be able to regain it. What? How do you mean? When you gave up control of the Hourglass, I worried that one day you would find you needed it. So rather than let your power dissipate, I collected it. To this day, it remains safely stored. Why did you never tell me this? Because the process of restoring your power is likely irreversible. Returning to the life you have now as Earthrealm's protector, a life you cherish may be impossible. And you did not want me tempted to make that sacrifice unless it was absolutely necessary. Correct. Thank you, Giris. You have saved us with your wisdom. Now, where have you stored my power? We must retrieve it. It is at the Fire Temple, stored in the Jade Jaguar gifted to you by the great Kung Lao. Yes, Giris. Liu Kang has proven more resilient than anticipated. He and his comrades have escaped the fortress. Forget the others. Find Liu Kang. 
He alone threatens my plans. You could have picked no better vessel to store my power, Giris. I have always treasured the great Kung Lao's gift. It reminds me of his meticulous nature and his generous heart. Once we retrieve the Jade Jaguar, we will proceed to the Hourglass. There, we will transfer the temporal power stored within it to you. It now occurs to me that all along, you have had unfettered access to the power stored within. You could have taken it, become Keeper of Time, but chose not to. Why? Because I have faith in your vision for this new era. I am content to be its guardian. Thank you, Giras. Now, this process you propose, you are sure it will restore my power? As sure as I can be of one that has been neither tried nor tested. But even if successful, it is not guaranteed that you will find any other timelines or allies. They may not exist. <sighs> I pray this is not a fool's errand. I hate leaving the others behind. Your champions will bolster their strength against the Dragon Army. It is sure to be the mother of all battles. May the Elder Gods protect them. You are among friends. What's happened? Where am I? A long way from home. In a different timeline, to be precise. What? Are you also a... A keeper of time? Yes. Both of us? How is that possible? The battle for Kronika's hourglass ripped apart time's fabric. Where there once was one timeline, there are now many. Each new timeline represents a different possible outcome of that battle. In mine, I became Time's Keeper. In yours, it was you. In others, it could be Jade, Sindel, even Kano. The possibilities are endless. If many timelines sprung from one, and we were both part of it, then you are... You are mine. The king. The same one who battled you in Shang Tsung's courtyard. Who fought at your side at the Colosseum. Who beamed with pride when you became Outworld's Khan. in one of the many timelines. They are ours. I would like to think you brought me here for them. But... I know you well enough to know better. What duty beckons us? I will tell you. But first, we must gather more of our old friends. Shang Tsung, the Titan, wielding the power of the Hourglass? Yes, Kung Lao. He is a threat to all timelines. He is not yet aware of any beyond his and Liu Kang's. For now, it is only a matter of time. 
I had hoped my victory over Kronika would end the endless cycle of combat. Sadly, it begins anew. We have no choice. We must stop Shang Tsu. The millions in my White Lotus Society will aid us, if needed. Thank you, my friends. He is here. Could I have been so blind? Of course our timelines aren't the only two. Retreat to yours, Shang Tsung. Your attempt to merge timelines has failed. Yes. Your comrades proved most resourceful. Thus, I have resigned myself to simply destroying your timeline. Knowing that others exist to conquer makes that choice much more palatable. Once I destroy your hourglass, your timeline will cease to exist. I will take great pleasure in finishing you one last time. how I remember. I know what you'll do before you do it. Likewise. Let's hope our advantage proves decisive. Fight! How I've missed fighting by Katana's side. Timelines this evil. Mine is no better. You should meet mine. She's a vast improvement. I'd like that. Should we survive this battle? Fight! Are you the best Shang Tsung can do? It has begun. This timeline will be destroyed. <laughs> I do not fear your bravado. I have bested twins far more evil than you. Go back to your timeline, brothers. <sighs> we have little time. The hourglass is failing. <sighs> then let us end this, now. Be good girls and kill them, won't you? As you command, Shang Tsung. Katana and I will fight them. You save the hourglass. Yes, okay. <laughs> Which of them is worse? Both are cracked reflections of me. They are abominations. Neither will survive this fight. Once Shang Tsung is finished, you will be too.
This isn't over, Liu Kang. Thank you, everyone, for your aid. This battle was won together. Shang Tsung is gone, but he's not defeated. He will be back to renew his campaign. Not only against this timeline, but against all timelines. Our choice is clear. We must take the fight to him. Destroy any power he has to make war against us. Agreed. Cheng Sung is likely already gathering allies as I gathered you. We must best his efforts. Assemble an overwhelming army from across all timelines. together to rid all timelines of your evil. The threat you pose to them ends today. Such certainty, Liu Kang, that this battle will end in your favor. It can end no other way, because across all timelines, the arc of history bends toward justice. Does it? In this timeline, it bends toward me. Behold, Liu Kang, the hell I unleash upon you. How 
will it feel to be cancelled? Time to waste. Can't you see the coming storm? Assist me, Quan Chi. Further, Liu Kang, follow me. Your defenses have failed, Shang Tsung. This is over. I do not think so. Realize, sorcerer, that you've brought this on yourself. Avarice and Ego have again proved your undoing. We have no choice but to eradicate you. It is you who will be eradicated. You and your followers. And once you are dead, all timelines will be mine. Yeah. <laughs> 
Your position is precarious. To survive, you must submit. Yes. The question you must ask is, if Liu Kang couldn't finish us, how possibly could you? Fight! And they called me the Chosen One. Glad to live up to your example. Shall we? You have done more than enough. Please permit me to end this. May that be the last we see of you. Liu Kang! What's happening? Timeline. Without Shang Tsung to hold it together, it's falling apart. You must return to your timeline before this one collapses. Thank you for your aid, Liu Kang. May we one day meet again. I'm telling you, the locations we found here are money. I mean, look at this. Don't the rainbow colors on these mountains just scream outworld? I cannot believe you'll be telling our story about how we defeated Shang Tsung. Well, the studio thinks it's fiction, not fact. <laughs> but I don't care, as long as it's covering the budget. <laughs> I assume you'll be the star. Nope, I'm behind the camera, writing and directing. Time to let someone younger and prettier take the lead. You know, I've written in parts for all of you, if you want them. Us? On screen? I mean, they're cameos. But like they say, there are no small parts. Thank you, Johnny. But we must decline. But Raiden! The new initiates arrive tomorrow. We must return to the Wuxi to begin their instruction. Of course, you are right. What about you, Takahashi? I need a blind swordsman. And no actor can do what you do. <laughs> I would love to. But my work to revive the Tyra is starting to pay off. I can't let up now. Well, I know better than to ask you. Your plate is always full. Indeed, Johnny Cage. Which is why I must now depart. Off to Outworld? To advise the Empress? Between her father and her sister, Melina is receiving plenty of good advice. And with the sorcerers and the general imprisoned, there are few threats to her rule. Is something wrong, then? I am simply shoring up our defenses. As you know, Bi Han and his Lin Kuei have abandoned their roles as Earthrealm's guardians. His brother, Kuai Liang, has agreed to build a new clan, the Shirai Ryu, to take its place. I must go aid his efforts. Is there anything we can do? Not yet, but I will call upon all of you when the time comes. Madame Bo, once again you have served an excellent meal. That's kind of you to say. Enjoy the rest of your evening. And thank you, all of you. You have served well as Earthrealm's champions. No, Liu Kang. Thank you. Joining up with you really has changed the arcs of our lives. I am glad. All right, gentlemen. If you're finished, there's only one thing left to do. Which one of you gets the bad news? Ooh, not me. I'm still three mil in the hole on Sento. How, uh, fix your wallet, Takahashi? Thick enough. But seems to me our hosts are on the hook. They did invite you us. You think we have money? The Shaolin live modestly. Realms are in safe hands.